so definitely. And um, I, for all of our viewers and listeners, like before the uh, podcast started, you definitely showed me some set photos from you inside the outfit. And I was just like, tripping so i definitely and i showed joshua and he was the same exact way so uh <laughs> i definitely wanted you to break down what was it like having to put on and take off the robo cable suit what was that like for you it was it was a quite an involved process and there were many pieces that went went on individually because in the end the requirement there was there was the requirement for a certain degree of mobility we begin with a full um body spandex suit underneath. There's a bit of uh, padding in there so that the, the curves and the angles of the fiberglass suit itself don't destroy your, your body. And we had two or three suit handlers to assist us, both uh, me and my old friend Paige, who played Robocop. And then we would after we would begin with the legs would go on first and they would be they would be attached to the boots or the mechanical feet, which had pistons in the rear. And then there was a chest and a back plate that would sandwich the upper body in place. The arms were slipped on one at a time and hinged at the elbows. I can't quite recall if there was some specific reason that the arms might have gone on before the chest plate for fastening purposes, but they may have. But after that, there was a cod piece that encased the gentlemanly vitals. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then they would put on the armored uh, gloves and finally a visored helmet. And there was some nice detailing around the, around the, the neck and jaw area to complete the look so that only a small, a small area of skin below the nose and above the chin was exposed. The bodysuit underneath also had a, a pull-up black head balaclava to help in the masking of the skin. Uh, and the, I mean, these guys got it down to a fine art as the shooting continued and it became quite an efficient process. And the only other element that uh, I haven't mentioned thus far was the, the head and face prosthetics that were occasionally used when we were shooting scenes helmetless. Those sections where Robo Cable was in the lab being worked on, in those cases, the prosthetic would create the impression of half human, half mechanical creature. Oh. So that's the breakdown of back in the day, I gave up smoking a long time ago, but back in the day, I was still having a puff, occasional puff every now and again, but it was so restrictive here that one of the, the ADs, they had manufactured from maybe sort of a coat hanger wire, this sort of wire thing here that had a hoop, you could put a cigarette in there. So I'd have to hold this thing like this. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> Because it was quite restricting. But there was a limited mobility because the, the suit was broken down into many different pieces. There was a, well, there was enough mobility to give the actor the freedom to do a little bit of, of stuff, but also to keep the, the character looking pretty mechanical. Was it, uh, was it really heavy? Not the combined suit in total was heavy, but it wasn't heavy because the separate pieces were all fabricated from fiberglass. The heaviest part would have been the mechanical boots, but that's okay because those are the pieces that are keeping you up. You know what I mean? They're at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't excruciatingly heavy. It was manageable. It was manageable. It got, we, we shot through two different seasons. So <clears throat> it was a little bit hot in the summer. As we moved into, into fall, it was a little more uh, tolerable. But it, it wasn't comfortable to be wrapped all up in, in the suit most of the time. You get over that because the adrenaline is pumping and you right. just feel a little. So you get over that discomfort and you just get a bit of a high. It's a childhood sort of fantasy to play the superhero, to play that sort of that type of character. So that's pretty cool. Me... I, I had a little bit of a I had a little bit of a story. You know, it was one of the first days of shooting and we were doing it. This was when Cable was still a cop and we were shooting a scene where him uh, and Murphy get called to a, it's a disturbance, a dog, a, a, a rabid dog call. And we go to this residence and we make the discovery that this residence is perhaps the location where there's a serial killer who's been dissecting people. <clears throat> and we go in through, we break in through a basement window and we start to flash our lights around looking. We discover all these macabre looking bone saws and tools and stuff like that. So we know we've discovered the lair of this notorious mass murder who's been killing people. 
And so as we're looking around, we hear a thumping coming from inside a, it looks like a, a meat freezer. So we swing our, our flashlights around <clears throat> and we start to approach the freezer. And as we get closer, we see that there's a little sort of a little pin bolt that's keeping the freezer closed. So I ease in and with the edge of the flashlight, I knock it out and the, the, the top of the freezer flings open. And this girl who's bound and gagged, who's gonna be the next victim of this killer, who's somewhere in the house, flings up out of this. And the moment was a high tension, high adrenaline moment. And I, I was sent reeling back and I smashed my foot against something really hard, oh. you know, something metal or whatever. The first day of shooting, and I was convinced that on that first day of shooting, I'd broken my foot. Oh. And I knew months ahead, I had to be in that Robocop suit and the feet were not that comfortable and stuff like that. So I was convinced on that first day. And I said, holy shit, I'm going to lose this gig. Oh. In the store, <laughs> I finished the entire day of shooting. I didn't say anything to anybody. And then at the end of the day, I told one of the ADs, I thought I'd done something with my foot. So they sent me off. I got it. I got it x-rayed. And unfortunately, there was no break. It was a bit sore for uh, another week or two. But it was one of those moments where I just thought, how could this possibly happen on the very first on day? On the first day. Right. Very on the first first day. day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If it, was, if, it, yeah. if it was just Cable as the character, it would have been okay. But because I knew I had to lug around that cable suit and do some pretty some pretty demanding stuff. There were stuntmen as well, but I had to do a lot of the gunplay and a lot of that stuff myself. And I would never have I would I would have never have made it through had that foot mm. broken. So that's that's cool that you played it off because I would have probably had a breakdown as soon as I, <laughs> I'm not good at hiding my emotions at all. I'd have been like, oh my God, you're gonna fire me. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I would have lost my mind. Definitely. Like the, none of the lines wouldn't would have came out right. Yeah, you know, no, no, just, yeah. It would have just said too it's too much emotion, Josh. Yeah. You're showing way too much emotion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I was a bit nervous, but you know. I just said it was, I just said it is what it is. And I didn't, I had some pretty intense scenes that day. And because I was in a pair of fitting shoes or whatever, later on, they said to me, man, if you'd broken it, you'd have known you'd broken it. So yeah. I knew it was bad, but I knew I could, I could still put a bit of weight on it. I wasn't sure, but I couldn't let it interfere with that first day. That would be pretty bad form to show up on your first day. <laughs> yeah. and then and then hold up the set i had four films to do so you, you could have just been like hey guys i got a great idea like they'll never see it coming let's film the robo cable stuff from the like waist up yeah and, <laughs> <laughs> i won't even have to wear the shoes guys like it'll be great <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man but that's <laughs> that's definitely cool stuff but uh, no that's awesome and 